Hi, this is Dan Malloy, continuing with GMAT Math. Um, bank account A contains exactly X dollars, an amount that will decrease by 10% each month for the next two months. Bank account B contains exactly Y dollars, an amount that will increase by 20% each month for the next two months. If A and B contain the same amount at the end of two months, what's the ratio of root X to root Y? So one good way to think about this is to make a table. So let's just set up a um, set up the situation here. We have account A and account B, and we have some initial time, some initial state, call it T zero, and then a month down the road we have T one, and then two months down the road we have T two. So initially, account A has X and account B has Y. But a month from now, X will decrease by 10%. So it'll be 90% of what it starts out as. So you can call that 0.9X. Y will have increased by 20%. So you can call that 1.2Y. And then that's going to happen again going from month 1 to month 2. So what's 90% of 90%? That's 0.9 times 0.9, which is 0.81X and the same situation for y. This will end up being 20% more than 1.2, which is 1.44y. That's just 12 times 12 is 144, right? So these are how much each account has if they start with x and y. The question is, at the end of two months, what's the ratio? Oh, if they have the same amount at the end of two months, so if these two are equal to each other, then what's the ratio of root x to root y. Well, let's do this. Let's find the ratio of x to y, and then we can take the square root of that, and we'll have the ratio of root x to root y. So if 0.81x is the same as 1.44y, then let's solve for x over y. So we'll divide both sides by, um, by y. So we get 0.81x over y equals 1.44 and then we'll divide both sides by 0 0.81 so now we get x over y equals 1.44 over 0 0.81 so that's the ratio of x to y is 1.44 to 0 0.81 the ratio of root x to root y is just the square root of that square root of x over y square root of 1.44 over 81 and that is the square root of 1.44 is 1 1.2 we remember that from just kind of working backwards. The square root of 0.81 is 0.9, so that's the answer. Uh, only problem is the answer choices are given in integer ratios, so we have to somehow turn this into an integer ratio. Um, a quick way to do that is just to multiply numerator and denominator by 10. So this is the same as 12 over 9, and then it'll be easy to think about how to reduce that. So both of those are divisible by 3, so you can divide both by 3, and you'll get 4 over 3. That is answer choice A.